Hello, good morning students. Today we will study the pest of stored grains. Pest, as you all know, are those animals which infect our crops, which cause damage to the crops. So, first pest in this list is Callosobrucus maculatus. Regarding the systematic position, kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Coleoptera, that is beetles, Family Brucidae, Genus Calisobrucus, Species Maculatus. Habits Calisobrucus maculatus includes in its life cycle four important stages egg, grub, pupa, and adult. Larva is known as grub. There are four instar larva. First instar, second instar, third instar and fourth instar. Distribution and status. This individual occurs in USA, Mauritius, Africa, China, Philippines, Japan, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Myanmar and India. Host range. It infects large number of pulses as well as cereals, gram, moong, moat, pea, cowpeas, lentil, arhar, cottonseed, sorghum and maize. Damage is mainly caused by grubs and the adult. Now the nature of damage. The adult and grub feed on the grain by making small hole. Infested stored seeds can be recognized by the white eggs on the seed surface and the round exit holes with a flap of seed coat. Kabuli type are particularly susceptible. Control The stores where the pulses are stored should be clean, dry and well ventilated. The grains should be stored with not more than 10% moisture. One good down should be used to store only one kind of grain. The floor, walls and ceiling of good down should not have holes, crack or crevices. If the stores are airtight, fumigate the empty store with HCN during April. Fumigate the infested grains with either mixture of ethylene dichloride or carbon tetrachloride or methyl bromide. If the stores are not airtight, spray the wall floor and ceiling with 0.05% malathion. Disinfect all gunny bags by dipping them into 0.0125% felinviratin 10 liters of water for 10 minutes. Dry them before using. Mix malathion 5% dust at a rate of 250 grams with 1 quintal of grain meant for the Eat. Coming to the life cycle of the Callosobrucus. Adult, male, females, they are separate. They mate and lay the eggs on the surface of seed. The eggs, they'll hatch to form the larva which bores inside the seed. Larva is whitish with light brown head. The mature larva is 6 to 7 mm long. The adult beetle is 3 to 4 mm in length, is oval, chocolate or reddish brown, has two serrated antenna, truncate elytra, not covering the pygidium. The pest breeds actively from March to end of November. It hibernates in winter in the larval stage. 
a single female lays small oval 34 to 113 eggs at a rate of 1 to 37 eggs per day egg period is 6 to 16 days the larval period is 10 to 38 days hibernating larva takes 117 to 168 days to complete their development pupal stage lasts for 4 to 28 days the adult escapes by cutting a circular hole in the seed coat and such grains can be spotted easily the average life span of adult is 5 to 20 days here it is very important to mention all the four instars of larva they feed on the grains and the third and fourth instar larva are voracious feeder they consume huge amount of food increase in size enormously and pupa is inactive stage the insect passes through 7 to 8 overlapping generations in one year now here you can see the structure of callosobrucus maculatus you can see the infected pulses by the callosobrucus holes they are formed and the grubs of the callosobrucus with one pupa so this is regarding the callosobrucus maculatus now coming to the second pest cetophilus oryzae that is the rice weevil the systematic position it includes kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta order coleoptera family curculionidae genus cetophilus species oryzae distribution and status worldwide and is found particularly throughout the india it is most destructive pest of stored grain the rice weevil may be found in paddy fields as well the host range it includes rice sorghum wheat barley maize full grown larva is 5 mm in length and plumpy fleshy legless creature reddish brown beetle adult is 3 mm in length with cylindrical body and long cylinder curved rostrum that is a very important identification feature of the cetophilus that is it is having long cylinder curved rostrum the elytra bears four light reddish or yellowish spots the rice weevil breeds from april to october and hibernates in winter as an adult inside cracks and crevices or under wheat bags in the godowns during the active season female lays about 400 eggs on the grain by making a depression and a hole is sealed with gelatinous secretion eggs hatch in 6 to 7 days and the young larvae bore directly into the grain where they feed and grow to maturity then they pupate inside the grain the pupal stage last for 6 to 14 days on emergence adult weevil cuts its way out of the grain and lives for 4 to 5 months nature of damage both adult and the grubs causes the damage the developing larvae lives and feed inside the grain causing irregular holes of 1.5 mm diameter on the grains of rice sorghum wheat barley maize before harvest and in the storage the weevil destroy more than what they eat now see here this is the structure of the weevil with long rostrum it is coleoptran so elytra they are present with three pairs of legs beautiful antenna is present they make holes on the grains and here the pupa is shown along with the two larvae 
so the life cycle it includes egg larva pupa adult and four instars they are there in the larval stage they cause heavy damage to our pulses and cereal so this is all regarding the pests of stored gain so we have studied two pests number one is calisobrucus number two is cetophilus i hope both the pests they are clear thank you